Officers struggle to take down one burglary suspect after handcuffing another. Their victim, though, manages to recover most of the stolen items. Good evening, everybody. The young burglary suspects tell police they targeted the home of a church deacon because it was the nicest house on the street. Tonight, an 18-year-old and a 15-year-old are in custody, accused of stealing some prized religious keepsakes. Local 12's Larry Davis joins us now with the Neighborhood Crime Alert. Larry. Hi, Cammie. This all happened just after 3 o'clock this morning, just down the street from where I'm standing in uh, St. Bernard. Uh, the police caught up with the suspects at this gas station behind me at Tennessee and Paddock in Bond Hill. Now, they cuffed one here, and then they wrestled with a second suspect. The first one in handcuffs took off. Both were caught, and the victim got back most of his valuables. Earlier today, St. Bernard police detectives were still processing the scene where the two suspects broke into a home on Ross Avenue. One is 18-year-old Elijah Davis. He faces four felony charges, including assaulting a police officer and carrying a concealed weapon. A 15-year-old accomplice is also charged. Police spotted the pair walking from the scene, spotted near where Ross and Tennessee Avenues merge. The team was handcuffed before Lieutenant Bill Ungrew and his partner wrestled to arrest Davis. We then all went to the ground. Uh, the handcuffed subject got up, started to run away, but I ordered him to sit and he sat for about 30 to 45 seconds. But then as he saw our encounter go a little bit longer, then he took off. As the handcuffed suspect ran toward an apartment building, police concentrated on Davis, who turned out to be armed. We maintained our focus on this individual because we determined he had a firearm. And so we you know, stayed with him and just pretty much sat on him until we could get back up because he was you know, just so aggressive doing push-ups with us on his back, basically. Officers found a stash of loot nearby that included most of the stolen merchandise, including this PIX, which holds host for Catholic Church communions. A similar PIX is still missing. Investigators say the suspects had an unusual motive. Mr. Davis said that he's homeless and was looking for, uh, you know, items that he could go ahead and sell on the street to get food. And Cammy, by the way, that pix that was recovered was actually a gift from that church deacon's sister uh, that she purchased at the Vatican. Now, that deacon is also known for helping people in need. He says uh, police say that uh, he had two suspects, had the two suspects just asked him for help. He probably would have given them the shirt off their back, at least fed them for the evening because they were looking for food. Live in Bond Hill, Larry Davis, Local 12 News. Cammy, back to you. And Larry, just to be clear, so they arrested the one suspect who had a firearm on him, the one that ran away. Did they eventually catch up to him? They did. They caught up with him at the apartment complex uh, just down the street from where I'm standing here. So he, had, he was in handcuffs. He got away, but they did catch up with him. Good. All right, Larry Davis, thank you. The 15-year-old has an extensive history of trouble with the law, but police say this is the first time Davis has been in trouble.